The fat quad has really changed the way that I perform my analysis and I look at my samples. Today we're looking at calcium zinc borosilicate glass formulations that have been developed in the UK for the potential future use in the mobilizations of highly radioactive nuclear waste seeds. So these are powdered samples that have been leached in either deionized water or in um, a groundwater simulant. What's very interesting is the chemical complexities that form at the surface, any alteration layers that form and how the glass behaves when it's been leached in water for so long. So these are quite difficult samples actually to measure with EDX because they're highly typographic and um, they have a large amount of inhomogeneity. They're chemically very complex, so it's a mixture of 25 different oxides make up the, the glass itself. So you really need a high count rate and a high throughput of your detector to um, get all those trace elements and to define all the elements present or contaminants present in the sample. This is pretty hard to do on a typical inclined detector when you have something like glass uh, that needs a low KV and a low beam current um, to, to probe the sample. The flat quad is an uncompromised EDS detector. For samples like mine that I've shown today that are very beam sensitive, so require low accelerating voltage and low beam currents, uh, you can still get excellent count rates and statistics because of the collection angle of the detector. It also reduces shadowing effects, so the effect of topography is not so pronounced, and you can really deconvolve the peaks with the spreeze deconvolution techniques. When you combine the flat quad with something like live mapping, which is a software upgrade, then you really turn your microscope into a real-time chemical or EDS imaging detector. You can move around your sample, you can quickly find your regions or areas of interest, and then take real quantifiable data in one step with one detector. It's really changed the way that I look and do my EDS analysis of my samples.